as a leader in generics with very diverse portfolio alongside our innovative medicines, we know that the majority of our offerings are for patients with non-communicable diseases. I would like to share my mother's medical file with you to make this point. She suffers from 16 conditions and all, but I have a whole army of friends uh, who are rheumatologists, dermatologists, cardiologists, urologists, who I'm calling on a daily basis uh, to try and titrate her drugs and to make sure that there are no drug interactions and that she sees the relevant person at the relevant time. But what about, a, what about a poor woman without a daughter as a cardiologist and with classmates who has to navigate these 16 conditions? We built a partnership through Amalia's team at Teva, the world's largest generic drug manufacturer, to put scale-worthy solutions on the table. So we started to look at clusters of multiple chronic conditions. But here's the thing, we often don't think about those as integrated. So through this partnership, we're hoping to actually build technology-based digital and behavioral solution to take us forward. I think that, first of all, the patient voice should always be included, and one of the things that the International Alliance of Patient Organization says is nothing about us without us. So I think it's a, it's a combination of, you know, the, the caregivers, the healthcare providers, the payers, all of those, but the patient has to be at the center of all of that. We need a voice and we need to be able to be heard and we need to have people understand what our needs are. I think when it comes to non-communicable diseases, we've been doing a lot of work, particularly with um, artificial intelligence around predictive analytics. Bringing in technology companies to, to work on things like NCDs is, is not always um, thought of as the first step, so I think it's an important thing to consider. Let us not only deal with a small, a perceived small group of patients who come to our clinic. Let us deal with the billions of persons who are the ones really affected by NCDs. I've said before, if mobilized, we can really change the world. I really want to thank Teva and Intel and the International Associations of Patients Groups for coming together and to try to think about it in, in a more structured, in a more strategic way to put this as an agenda out there.